Hey guys, it's the History Nerd. There. Let's start like we usually do, not looking at a map. This isn't, you know, it's freaking Hearts of Iron here. Uh, it's me, the History Nerd. We're back with Silent Hunter 5. Certainly not Hearts of Iron. Um, <laughs> really should have waited to do this interview. I haven't even, I haven't even started my stopwatch. Good God, this is going to be a horrendous episode. Um, as you all briefly saw, we are way up north, coming on down into the Celtic Sea to start things. Uh, we are supposed to patrol BF2113, uh, and I don't think that this is BF2113, if I'm honest. Uh, 2113 would be over in this area here somewhere. Um, and in fact, there should be a way for me to see. I don't necessarily want to send out a uh, distress, or not a distress, I definitely don't want to send out a distress call. I don't necessarily want to send out a radio signal. Uh, that's what I want to do. Okay, so yeah, we're coming in someplace around about here. It's unnecessary to have a patrol like that, but it's, you know, it's a reminder of things to do when we get closer there. Or something of that nature. Um, that's really, that's really about it. Uh, is that, no, that's just something gross on the screen. That looked like a tower of fire, well not fire, a tower of smoke. And not even a tower, anyway, I'm getting distracted. Um, the plan for today is to just basically swing around and do Celtic Sea stuff. Because that's the uh, that's the one and only mission we've got that's open and available to us. I did see uh, a comment that says, "Hey, maybe you should check out the briefing." The briefing won't change until our base changes to uh, Lorient. So for now, because so the 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 Silent Hunter game. Let's get out of this view so you guys have something a little better to look at while I ramble. The Silent Hunter game, it's like it's split up into different campaigns, and. Um, I'm certainly no expert with the entirety of this game, but I have played this section of the game a fair bit. So I know that the, the mission briefing and, and things of that nature, none of that's going to change until we get to L'Oreal and then, and then we move into the next era of Silent Hunter 5, the next campaign section, if you will. Um, what else? That's about it, I think. Um, how are we doing, like, crew-wise? Not crew-wise. How are we doing, like, total-wise? Yeah, we're not doing too badly. 340,000 tons sunk in total. Um, we've, we're certainly skewing more towards the warships. I have a feeling this campaign out here, uh, down in the Celtic Sea, that'll probably change things a little bit. Although, uh... It's, as you guys all know, there are aircraft carriers in operation down there. And my, 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 aircraft carriers, those are, those are juicy targets that are certainly worth taking the time and effort to sink because, um, they're worth a lot. Again, though, not nearly as much as the merchant convoys, which we should be focusing on. Uh, finally, in this intro that is... Well, I've certainly done longer, so I shouldn't be too self-conscious about this. I want to thank you guys for troubleshooting my static headphone problem. Um, I think it was last episode, maybe two weeks ago. I don't really remember when I was complaining that the static was unbearable. Um, and I forget who it was, but someone mentioned just, you know, if you're using the front port, just unplug all the USB devices there. And then I took a look at the front of my tower and I'm like... Yeah, I got a few USB devices there. I had a, you know, part portable hard drive that I still had plugged in from transferring files over. I had my uh, Xbox 360 controller plugged in. A few other things in there, so I just unplugged them all, and it's like, I, I got the headphones on now. Not a hint of static. We'll go into the map view. Not a hint of static. You guys are... Each one of you is a peach, and I thank you all very much for helping me out with that. It, it, it's going to help my mental state on Sundays to no end. Uh, regardless, the plan, go down there, see what we can sink. It is, th this patrol route is pretty close to Plymouth, so, you know, I'll keep an eye open for an aircraft carrier. Um, and other than that, yeah, sinking ships, 
taking names. It's what the crew of the Grey Wolf do. And I will see you guys when we got some ship's names to take. See you in a bit. So Dieter tells me there's a task force ahead of me. Uh, Cheaty View tells me there's a lone freighter coming right for us. So I'm going to get down to periscope depth. Now, um, I'm of two minds here. We do have a full load of torpedoes, so I'm fine spending maybe one on just one of these targets. But the thing is, uh, I, I don't necessarily want to spend too many torpedoes on a single lone merchant ship. So I think we'll fire one off, and if that doesn't do the trick, then think of your viewers, history nerd. These people come here to see things. They stare at a freaking grid of torpedoes all day. Um, so yeah, I'd like to just get him with one torpedo. I don't necessarily want to spend a lot of time hunting this guy. Um, and the reason why I'm not going purely for the deck gun is just for our own safety. I don't necessarily want to, um, let's just zoom in here. Oh, we're not going to get map up? That's just lovely. Thank you. Um, we don't necessarily, why did I stop the boat? God damn it. Um... Okay, we can continue, and then what we'll do here is just get him with the rear-facing torpedo tube, that's all. Alright, we should be clear, cut your engines, and I'm okay, I'm actually happier, <laughs> right, like, yeah, that's it, I'm absolutely happier that... Maybe Minimum just a smidge up. There we go, that. I mean, all I realize it's, I barely moved at all, but trust me, it matters. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily think torpedo we need to worry about two, warming, warming this torpedo up or anything like that. Just need to get our lock and fire, basically. Two, five, loss. And then that should that should be it. That should be all we need to do. <clears throat> to start the day off right. The torpedo kill on a merchant. Let's get zoomed in here. I think, you know, that's that's a pretty good torpedo shot. Impact. Is it a kill shot? I don't know. It's a very big hole. We'll, uh... We'll see. I don't think we killed it. I don't think we killed it in the slightest. So let's get rid of this. And then let me just, like, hey, that's the grid we need to... Uh, patrol. And then we'll just get ourselves turned around here. Yeah, I, I bet you've got the wiggles now, sir. Although now, Zero. now you've pretty much just just stopped in the water, huh? Um, well, let's take a look, shall we? Are you? I'd like to think this is gonna sink. It certainly has taken on a hell of a lot of water. I mean, it must be sinking, right? But I don't think it is. I don't think it's sinking. Oh, stop. I think it's just gonna stay floating there forever with a hole in it. So let's get up on surface. We're obviously in a relatively good position here. The seas are also kinda calm. I mean, I say that and they're nowhere near calm. Um <laughs> Yeah, they're 
calm, the waves just completely flood the conning tower. But you know, it's fine. Uh, we only need to go ahead, speed one. Dieter, you know, I, I was gonna man the deck gun and let Max do this. But then I thought, but what? Yeah, no, Max. Max should probably do his job. I'm feeling like Max should do his job today. So, Dieter, man the deck gun. Thank you, sir. And Max, your target is that. Now, it's dead in the water, not moving. There's one hit. That's all it took. Excellent. Dieter, yes, sir. secure the deck gun. Secure the de Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, let's let's continue on. Although now the RAF will certainly know uh, we're bad. here. That doesn't necessarily matter too much. Uh, I think two, we'll be two, pretty three. good two, to just continue three. on over this way. So that's not bad, you know. First catch of the day is let's look at the right screen. Um, current patrol. It won't be much. Just a Yukel, a small passenger type for 1,700 tons. Kind of matches this guy, the Hog Island type freighter. Uh, well, the Hog Island was certainly a better target. Regardless, we're going to continue heading on. I'm not going to send a BDU update because we're too close to allied shipping, to planes, to, <laughs> to send out a radio signal. So I will see you guys when I got something more exciting to share. See you in a bit. So Benno has picked up something on the old hydrophone. We're gonna spin the gray wolf around. Uh, we should probably ahead. go ahead slow here. And this is a Greek ship. I decided not to go after it because it was just a lone ship. And when I came along, or maybe it isn't a Greek ship. Maybe it's something else. I need to get to the periscope to do some observations. Well, maybe not on the one that popped up to the north of us. Because, let's face it, chances are we're not going to see it. But somewhere... Off the starboard bow, somewhere out here, is a boat. Or a ship. I'm hoping a ship. If it's a freaking fishing boat, I am not going to be a happy captain. Um, it's about 10 kilometers out still. So let's see if we can adjust our patrol to get us closer. Now, we don't have too many contacts on the surface here. We've lost... I don't know, we've, we've got visual. And it's green? It's showing up as green on the old mini-map. Or the main map. So let's just get a little bit closer. And see if we can identify who the heck this is. It's probably an Irish ship. I would imagine. Because Ireland stayed neutral in the war. And we're close to Irish waters. So I would bet, I mean, that doesn't necessarily look like an Irish flag. We'll have to get closer. Maybe it's Portuguese? Could be Portuguese. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer here. Now, I don't necessarily want to be the type of U-boat captain to go ahead and fire on friendly or neutral ships. Because rumor has it that negatively affects your renown. And that is definitely an Irish ship with blood on it. Let me take a look in the cheaty view here. And we've got a Portuguese ship. All right. Yes, that makes sense. I saw green and thought Irish. I know what a freaking tool. So... Let's see if we can investigate. I don't think that's the same Greek Viva. ship. I think that's a different ship. So let's head over here. 
go underneath that freighter. Oh, that whoever this is, they're moving. So let's get back up periscope to periscope depth. depth. And let's just see how far out are they. 20 clicks? We could probably do to be a bit more, like, surface. <laughs> yeah, because that's a sentence. Let's get up to the surface. Let's go, go speed, speed two. Ahead. See if we can hunt this freighter down. Oh. Two, six, zero. Of course. And he, uh, this aircraft is, like, right on us. Periscope so, you know what? How depth on the keel is 1.51 meters. Let's go speed 4. Speed ahead. Nice Dive. and deep. It's just a fighter. So, chances are he'll wind up crashing into the ocean trying to sink us anyway. Um, regardless. Current depth 1.0 meters. All right. Now that we're under, there's no need to burn through our batteries like crazy. We have been going under for, you know, a ways. Then you can you can still hear that aircraft. Maybe if we try to intercept them a little bit further down, like so. Ooh, there's two ships there. Chances are one of those would be worth it. This guy's like staying constant distance from us, isn't he? <clears throat> Basically. Alright, so we're not going to be able to get this guy underwater, but if we do something crazy, like, because well, we want to go on the surface, but of course, well, first off, let's get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. If we get on the surface, we'll just get hunted down by airplanes, although it is turning dark. Well... It's nowhere near evening yet, but it will be soon. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see if we can get this guy on the surface, and I will be back if we do. See you guys in a bit. All right, not much time for transition shots. On the surface, we got picked up by a swordfish. Now, I don't know if this guy's going to turn around and make an attack run, He's not, but somewhere out here is an aircraft carrier then. And I'm betting it's down in this area because it's going to be close to Plymouth. So uh, we will continue on this course to try and find Smoke ourselves the that Three, ship one, right five. there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, Skippy. Um, yeah, so somewhere... On the port side is that guy, so if we... But how fast is this guy going? Maybe kick it up to speed three? Aircraft spotted airing five zero. Now, if you're another... Uh, biplane... And you are perfect, okay. From where? Oh, that's not a biplane. That's a fighter. That's a fighter, too. Where was the biplane? There's the biplane. That's the thing I care about. Those fighters, they'll just, like, poke holes in our armor, get our armor down to, like, 98%. Fine. We can survive with that. This biplane, however, might have bombs. And if it's got bombs, I don't want anything to do with it. Come on, reload. There we go. That that's that problem solved. The fighters, meh, you know, they may come they may go. Right now, what I care about is getting a visual on this here freighter. Yes, so, if you can man the flat gun, actually. Granted, we'll wind up, you know, wasting a hell of a lot of anti-aircraft ammunition trying to shoot down those two fighters, but at least we'll give them something to think about while we chase down. Right? Right, guys? Right, guys? We're gonna give them something to think about? Right? 
gunnery crew. Okay, well, that guy has nothing to think about now. And neither does he. Prime example of aircraft AI. And so now, I mean, thankfully the seas are calm as craziness today. All right, that ship has the wiggles, so that means we're close. And it looks like it might be worth it, you know. It's a relatively large ship. How far away are you? You're six kilometers away. So let's try and get closer here. And with him having the wiggles, I don't necessarily think... Yes, sir. Man the deck gun that yeah that's absolutely your target and then let me get on this to cover ourselves here because I have a feeling with it being a oh no there's two yep another another biplane so well Max takes care of sinking that freighter we can hopefully do some damage here to the uh, to the Royal Navy Flying Corps. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, now you're on fire. Now you're thinking about it. And then we should have another guy here. I'd love to see my anti-aircraft ammunition, but for whatever reason, it's not showing up anywhere. Hopefully that means uh, we've got unlimited supply. There's that other torpedo bomber. Come on. Well, that guy's dead. And then the other one. This guy cannot be here for long. Gonna slow so us down. There we go. Problem solved. And it looks like when we we're taking care of those, you should probably turn that gun around. Let me help you. <laughs> Freaking, he's got Dieter in the crosshairs. There we go. That problem solved. Looks like Max did his job quite quickly too. Let's head on over and take a look at the damage we did. British ship, couple of holes, but you know what? Not too many. We got some under the waterline. We got some obviously in the critical systems. I'm pretty impressed with that. Whoops, whoops. There we go. Uh, Dieter, Dieter, yes, sir. secure the deck. Huh? Secure the deck. And with that thank you very much hopefully that's within the area of operations i think it is um we'll continue i kind of kind of want to find that aircraft carrier now though if i'm honest with you we should have plenty of ordnance to take them on and we do so i think that is going to be our goal here which means heading south down into this area and hopefully finding ourselves um, something to shoot at. Now, is this another biplane? No, that's just another fighter. With a bomb? We got fighter bombers now. This is getting nerve-wracking. We're going to get under. Maybe we didn't have to. Um... Is he still kicking? He is. Okay. We'll drop under and um, get rid of these fighters and then we'll we'll continue from there. Our battery power could use some recharging. So maybe I'll do some underwater wiggling and get ourselves repositioned so we can ditch the RAF. Anyway, guys, I'll see you when I got something far more exciting to share. See you in a bit.
No idea if you guys heard the last section. I noticed my microphone was on mute, and I don't remember turning it on mute. So, if you guys missed what was going on here, we just moved over here because aircraft are annoying, and there's not much going on. So you can also see, we've got a ship contact. Two of them, in fact. Some might even call it a convoy. However, that Stop convoy is of... Bearing three, zero, zero. Two annoying fishing boats, which are not worth my time, and, I might add, are making up the majority of the shipping contacts that I'm getting in the Celtic Sea, which is annoying because I would like to sink big ships and not, you know, have to dodge fishing boats that'll phone in a damn airstrike. Um, sorry, a little bit of in-game frustration coming through. I just, it's, give me something worthwhile to shoot at game. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're just gonna continue on trying to find some things to sink. I'd rather stay away from England. Although that, oh, that is so tempting because I'm pretty confident that there or that there is our carrier. What's the range on your airbase? Ridiculous. If we want to get into that area. Hmm. All right. We'll Stop just... On the horizon bearing two, four, eight. Yeah, but those are just fishing boats, Dieter. Don't don't even worry about them. Um yeah, we'll just we'll continue on trying to find some better targets to sink. So I'll see you guys hopefully when we got something more exciting to share. See you in a bit. So as you guys can see, we've got ourselves a nice little ship six con or sh ship six six ship convoy uh if we want to do this correctly the furthest one out is 4800 meters or four kilometers which means everybody is within range of a fast going torpedo Yay! So, what we need to do then is just start picking these ships off, basically. So, um, we'll put them at about four, meters. four kilometers out. Let's get the mini-map up, because we are going to need it. And, as is usual, uh, we've got lovely weather coming in. So, uh, what we're going to need to do here is just start picking off the ships so let's actually get that down to where Top I wanted it depth, and two, set meters. so let's get a lock and fire on that guy let's load up tube two get a lock and fire on that guy let's get tube three get a lock and fire on that guy right and then finally tube four speed three get a lock and fire on that guy so that is four fishes out with four targets Let's see how all of these are looking well, i think that's going to be a hit i'm imagining that's going to be a hit i don't know about these two because they are further targets away but I still think that's going to be a pretty successful initial contact with these guys. Uh, mainly because, you know, we're going to get at least two hits here. Torpedo impact. There's one. There should be another one coming up front soon, or maybe in the back here. I'm thinking up front, honestly. Or maybe not. Maybe we're going to be stuck. Oh no, it looks like we're definitely going to get two hits here. Torpedo impact. Maybe three? Maybe that guy back there is going to get hit too? Maybe? Make my day. Make my day, torpedoes. Something tells me these torpedoes are not going to be making my day. Oh, that one might. That one definitely didn't. That one is going to be a near miss as well. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Well, 
Now we got a long time to wait for these things to reload. I say we get on the deck and finish the job the old-fashioned way. So let's get up there. Now, I don't know if any of these guys are armed. My god, I phased through the door. Or the hatch, I guess. Let's get technical about it. Uh, come on. This is a very rusty spot. Wouldn't have noticed that if the tiger stripes were going as they should be. So, uh, let's swap over. Can we spin this around? The weather is going to make this a little more difficult than I would like. Plus, now we've got to, um, you know, get the range in for all of these. I think that guy is probably going to be the best bet. And that guy himself is a whopping two kilometers away. Let's cut in a bit closer. Let's go over to him and let's set that to two kilometers. Is he shooting at me? Are you shooting at me? Yeah, that's... You are. Oh, ship. You have no idea what you're starting, do you? Well, that was definitely... an explosion. Pressure hull breach! Pressure hull repaired! Perhaps... This gunnery duel may not be the best idea. Let's go two and a half kilometers. See if we can hit that ship out there. Yep, we can. We can even bring that down a little bit. And let's be honest. The Grey Wolf is starting to take a bit too much in the way of damage here. So let's get under. Right quick. Three meters. How badly? 86? That's not too bad. What about our subsystems? You know, that'll get repaired. We should definitely get under. Perhaps coming up to the surface to take these. Can we get under, please? Get under! Recharging batteries. Current depth one zero meters. Pressure hull Two, repair. One. Ready. Okay, we got a lot of issues that I'm gonna let you guys sort through. Needless to say, once we're done with this convoy, we're heading back to port. Uh, yeah, just let me get in here. So, we got some more ships on fire. What is it? Three of them now? There should be a fourth. I thought I thought the um, the fourth one got lit up as well. Periscope repaired. Periscope's fine. I don't know about that guy. What he's doing. But we'll get a torpedo off on his merry way. And I'm not sure if they can see the good old periscope out here. Maybe they can. I'm, I'm really merchant moving fast moving away bearing 19 media range I'm getting in the cheaty view so I don't have to hear the damaged ship is basically why I'm doing this and of course I guess what we could do is put up the periscope so that I can actually see these ships as we get our torpedo impacts on a fourth one so I think even this guy. Yeah, you see, we did sneak a little bit of damage in there with some high explosive rounds. Good job on us. But I think all the ships here now have been hit. So, yeah, that is good news for us. I don't, I don't see the damage on this guy. So, oh, well, because we probably didn't hit that guy. It's this guy we just hit, and we definitely hit him. So that's good. That guy's not... So, really, we haven't damaged one ship. We've damaged five. And hopefully, they're all going to sink. Of course, we do have our own damage. Let's take a moment to go through it all. 
Front torpedo room fine, radio room fine, command center. We got our torpedo control that's a little bit damaged, but it's still fairly operational. Our aft battery and our starboard and port diesel engines, especially our starboard diesel engine, which makes sense. It's the side that was indeed facing the convoys. Pretty damaged. Our port electric motor is a little damaged as well. Otherwise, things are fine, you know, except for the holes in the hull. Up front looks fine and good. And how's the engine room looking? You're getting a little wet. You're getting a little smoky and a little wet. Other than that, things seem relatively fine back here. Uh, we don't need to worry about closing the hatches. We just need to worry about getting all these things repaired. Uh, increase repair time, please. I'm sure you do, Yosef. That's why you're the chief engineer. So, I mean, I guess, yeah, well, well, the ship is being repaired. We may as well keep our eye on all of these. And where's the one we haven't hit? Is it just behind these guys? Is that all that's happening there? It must be. Diesel engines repaired. Now, this guy is getting pretty close. This guy is getting very close. Let's just sneak down a little bit. And go ahead and try to ram me. You're not hitting anything there, bud. Wait for him to... Oh, is he just gonna... Okay, we're safe to get back to Periscope Death then. Now that guy's not gonna ram us. That guy might. Time will tell. But we're clear from him. So that's really all that matters. Let's get back up. And there we go, back on the surface. We could try to send a torpedo his way. We got that guy way over there. Who doesn't look damaged at all. And that guy's got a bit of smoke, that guy's on fire. But that guy way out there. He hasn't had anything bad happen to him yet, I don't think. So let's see if we can rectify that issue, shall we? Yeah, yeah, keep keep shining your spotlight on me. It's incredibly effective while you burn to death. Well, let's see if that torpedo has any chance. I mean, it might barely scratch that ship. Oh, look at that. We got him. I think if we go out to Cheaty View here, that's all six ships that are smoking and on fire. One, two, three, four, five. Was that six? Yeah. That's all six ships smoking. Now, obviously, this guy is the least damage of them all. He's just got some internal fires to deal with, I'm guessing. Um, when we get tube 3 up, or tube 1, whichever one it is, I think that'll be our first target. Although, before that even happens, we do have this guy here. The guy who tried to ram us? Yeah. Well, I got a surprise for him. It's called Rear Facing Torpedo Shot. 
Who are you? Okay, you're on fire. That's good. We're almost ready here. Good. We do have two one selected. We'll get that shot going. This should be a fairly successful hit. And is basically coming right down the the aft end of them. I mean, I'm impressed that didn't end his engines, but you know, that's that's just you know not not apparently going to happen today. Uh, where's the torpedo on this guy? Should be coming in. There we go. So I mean, that's certainly given him something to think about now. He's got external fires as well as internal ones. Um, so let's just see. We got one down, we got one that's not moving, and then four more that are continuing on course. Uh, kind of quick for ships that have been damaged as extensively as these guys have. Let's head on back, take a look at this guy. Definitely going under. That guy probably going under. He's got a dead stop taking on an awful lot of water. A large steamer full of war supplies for 7,000 tons is that guy over here. I will gladly take that amount of tonnage to the renowned bank. Are the rest of these guys I'd like to take a look at the state of these guys because I'm impressed some of them are continuing on as they are now this guy looks like he's gonna sink I mean he's continuing on without engine power definitely a dead ship this guy here he's got a bit of a list but it's nothing I would consider to be impossible to handle this guy might survive, despite being on fire inside and out. This guy up here, he might be able to continue on as well. It's a lot of front fire going on, and it is listing and kind of front heavy, but they might be able to survive it and make it to port. Basically, same story going on with this guy here. Fair amount of damage but they might be able to live still not bad not bad at all two confirmed kills we're gonna continue on with these guys keeping pace I guess we could probably go with speed two here just to uh, just to try and keep up so we got another one down. Let's check to see what that guy was. I'm guessing it's going to be the same type of ship. Large steamer war supplies for another 7,000 tons. That's 14,000 tons already. That's not bad. Third ship down. A Liberty cargo vessel, again, for 7,000 tons. Not bad at all. Let's go check on the three surviving ships that are still aflame and smoking. But I have a feeling they're going to be able to continue on. I don't think one torpedo is enough to kill these guys. Let's see. Barely moving. All three of these should be barely moving. How is our battery power? 80, 84, 83? 80, I'm fine with it. Um, 
I mean, it's so, it's so late in the episode. We should have all of our tubes reloaded, though. How far out are these guys? We do. We got three tubes and three ships to sink. Let's try it, shall we? We'll get a lock on you and fire. We'll get a lock on you and fire. And then finally, we can't get a lock on you. You're going too quick. We got the battery power to spare. Let's try and get closer to that guy. I think we can get a lock now that he's shown up on the minimap. So let's get a lock, break lock, and fire. So that looks like that's going to be a hit. Indeed it will be. I don't know about this one. Oh, what? Out of range? Is it because I put these too fast? It must be. Oh, I feel like a tool. Still, we got another one down. And I'm guessing it's the same. More of the same. A large steamer full of war supplies. 7,000 tons. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that ain't bad. But with our torpedoes all but depleted, I think we've got to head back for home. Um, what we might be able to do is pop into... Well, we can pop into a Norwegian port, obviously, to resupply. But we're going to have to head back to Willemshaven to actually end our patrol, which is precisely what we're going to do. I just want to disengage from these ships so I can safely get on the surface and uh, get ourselves home. So let's get our periscope down and, uh, whoa, let's get on deck because being inside a broken U-boat is just far too hard on the ears. Well, that's not bad. I'm feeling fairly pleased with the way today's episode went. Other than, of course, um, the damage we took. The damage was, was because I was just a little too aggressive on the surface. But what can you do? I feel like it was worth it. And I think our tonnage certainly makes it worth it. Let's go through, so we're sitting 50-50 on missions completed and uh, failed. I still don't feel like we failed the war with Norway. I mean, a, a heavy cruiser or battleship, that's a success no matter how you slice it. Uh, I think we've added quite a few tons this episode, though, so... Yeah, and merchant tons, which is, you know, what we obviously should be concentrating on as a U-boat captain. So more, more of the same next week. Thumbs up if you have enjoyed today's episode. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.